What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk Call of Duty World War II. The gameplay you're going to see is a little bit of campaign from COD 4. I didn't upload the trailer from E3 because sometimes Activision's a little uh, picky with exactly what you can and can't upload without a lot of permission from them. So I'll go ahead. We're going to talk about the trailer though and a lot of things we got to see. The trailer will be linked in the description below if you have not got to see it yet or you just want to watch it again. And I have watched this thing a lot and, and kind of picked out some interesting things. But first off, we know the beta will be released August the 25th, which is a good thing. This gives uh, the developers a lot of time to fix things uh, that could be issues during the beta before the release in November. First of all, guys, let's talk weapons. We got to see the M1 Grand. We saw the Grease Gun. We saw Trench Shotguns. Trench Shotguns, I'm sure, are going to be a big part of it because it was a big part of World War II. The Grease Gun was kind of neat. If you notice during the trailer, when the Grease Gun comes out, he ends up putting a suppressor on that Grease Gun during the fight and it's supposed to be all multiplayer gameplay so that was pretty interesting that he added the suppressor on during the fight instead of in during the loadout so maybe that's part of the new loadout system of course we got to see the akimbo m1911s at the end kind of a tease i think and of course we got to see a bayonet melee weapon i'm not sure if it's going to be like bayonet charge from battlefield or not but the bayonet will be in the game it may just be used as a melee weapon Movement speed, I know was a lot of people's issues, thought the game would be slower because it was boots on the ground. The aim down sights from kind of sprint out time seemed pretty quick during the trailer. Um, and also we got to the dolphin dive. Towards the end, if you do not notice, the dolphin dive happened. So the dolphin dive looks like it's going to be back. Um, the game has got a little bit of destruction, maybe more like Call of Duty Ghost. I'm not quite sure how that destruction is going to work, but we did see a little bit of call, uh, destruction. The graphics look good, good for Call of Duty. It's not a Battlefield 1 style graphics. COD never is, but that's fine. That's to be expected, but it does look good for a Call of Duty game. And the gore was one thing that kind of surprised me. There's a lot more blood, a lot more just kind of goriness in the game, which I think is good for Call of Duty. It is a, a shooter. It is a war style shooter. So I think that gets away from more of that almost cartoony style in the multiplayer and more of a war style game. Uh, the streaks we got to see were flamethrowers, bombs being dropped. Of course, we got to see a plane fly over, which may be a player control score streak. And we got to see some tanks. These tanks, I'm not quite sure, are going to be uh, a, a controllable like kill streak or if there's something from the war game, uh, new game mode, which could be a, 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 a thing too. We'll just have to wait and see on that. And we get to get to see some parachutes in the game. This may be the way the air division gets to drop in the map. I'm not quite sure about those last two things, but as more info comes out, of course, I will let you guys know. Of course, leave me a comment. And let me know what you thought about the Call of Duty World War II trailer. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.